What happened to a half million dollar bailout that a downtown grocery store received from the city of Buffalo taxpayers? Well, that's the question one city lawmaker is asking today. Our Jeff Preval tells us why. That city lawmaker cites recent news reports saying that the Bray Miller Market in downtown Buffalo continues to have financial problems, such as delinquent tax payments, which could put tax breaks from the IDA in jeopardy. It was two summers ago the controversial decision was made to hand over more than $560,000 in taxpayer money to Bray Miller Market. Some city lawmakers questioned that decision, whether Bray Miller Market was getting more favorable treatment over other businesses in the city of Buffalo. Common Council Member Rashid Wyatt was one of those lawmakers. He is requesting that members of the Buffalo Urban Renewal Agency, which was involved in getting the Bray Miller Market bail allowed give an update on what's being done with the city money to help keep Bray Miller afloat. From what we're seeing right now and what we're hearing, it's not was not a good investment because he's still having trouble. And this what I would call a normal time period for the most part, lacking, you know, subtracting inflation. And you would think that a grocery store in this situation with apartments right next door would be thriving. The 201 Ellicott Street project was a signature project, part of former Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown's economic agenda for downtown Buffalo. It's also part of Governor Kathy Hochul's five-year affordable housing plan. Years later, Bray Miller is struggling financially, and tenants next door have protested over poor living conditions, such as water damage and the ceiling collapsing on the ground floor in recent months. Tenants have requested that the management at the property be replaced. Now back to Bray Miller Market. We have left messages for the owner of Bray Miller Market, but we have not heard back as for when city lawmakers expect to hear from bureau officials. That's expected to happen this coming Tuesday. Yes, that is election day in Common Council Chambers. From downtown Buffalo, Jeff Perval News 4.